For all the latest updates, subscribe to News9. Seven people have been killed after two planes collided with each other mid-air in Alaska. According to press release of Alaska Department of Public Safety, the collision happened around 8.30 a.m. local time. At approximately 8.27 hours on 31st July 2020 in Soldotna, received a report of a plane crash involving two aircraft near mile 91.5 of the Sterling Highway. It was determined that the two planes were involved. One plane had a single occupant, the other plane had six occupants. All were confirmed deceased on scene except for one person that succumbed to injuries during transport to the local hospital. Alaska State Representative Gary Knopp was among the seven people who were killed in the plane crash. Gary Knopp was piloting one of the aircraft and another plane was carrying four tourists from South Carolina and a guide from Kansas. Gary Knopp was 67 years old and was a Republican and a member of the State House bipartisan majority. Gary Knopp's colleagues have expressed condolences. The First Lady and I wish to express our heartfelt condolences to Representative Knopp's family as they mourn his untimely passing. Throughout his 42 years on the Kenai Peninsula, Gary became well known as an avid outdoors man, a skilled pilot and a dedicated public servant. Governor of Alaska, Mike Dunleavy, has ordered the United States flag and Alaska state flag to be flown at half-staff to honor Knob. Six people were pronounced dead at the site and one person died while being transported to the hospital. The charter company operating planes has denied to make any statement but said that they are cooperating with federal officials. Aircraft debris fell near Sterling Highway which was shut down briefly over safety concerns. One of the plane has been identified as a de Havilland DHC-2 Beaver by the Federal Aviation Administration. The Federal Aviation Administration sent two investigators to the crash site, which was 241 kilometers away. The Federal Aviation Administration and National Transport Safety Board are investigating the crash. National Weather Service reports from the Soldotna Airport for Friday morning showed clear visibility. The last mid-air collision in Alaska happened in May 2019 near Ketchikan, which had killed six people.